Hi everyone, I'm Kiwanina Mori and today I have a box opening. I have two heads that I sent away for face-ups by um, Komarebi Dolls. And so these bodies are finally going to get their heads back after a couple of months of um, waiting for all that. But yeah, it's, it's really exciting because I, ha I haven't been very active in the hobby lately because of new, a new job and um, I've been focusing on my cosplays. So I'm really looking forward to being able to jump back in into making my characters um, like I did before. Um, so these were just two heads that are like high on my priority list to get all set up. So let's see how these face-ups turned out. Cause they looked really pretty in the pictures that, uh, that they sent me. And I just like, I love seeing them in person. And then I could try on wigs and just get the whole image in my head. This first one is my Amadis head, um, Orlando, and I got it in a custom chocolate uh, resin by the by the doll maker. And I really wanted a face up that would um, show the character because I'm doing an African fairy, um, which is like the Azezi. And I really wanted a face up that sort of looked ethereal and magical and like, ah, she looks so beautiful. Look at this girl. She's got her little face paint and this gold. Ah, her lips are gorgeous. And she's got her pierced ears. She's so lovely. Ah. I can't wait to put, like get over a wig and put some clothes on her. So I put her head on uh, and some eyes in. You can see how beautiful that is. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait to um, to try out wigs on her and decide on which style or if I'm going to order a new one. Because I was thinking of ordering a, another style from Amadez. Because um, they have lots of pretty new wigs that they're doing. <sighs> She's so lovely. <laughs> So my second head is by a private artist, XXDXS on Instagram, and they released this head Lee Ming, and I needed to get him um, color matched for the body because uh, this body is a bit older and more normal yellow tone. And so I sent the hand for the body with them, and uh, so that's the skin color he came in, and then you can see the color matching. But oh my gosh, he's another grumpy boy. <laughs> Look at that. He's so handsome. He's got like scars and freckles and like beautiful facial textures. A very serious elf. <laughs> I'm just like, he's, he's sort of like bodyguard type of stoic and like I don't play that mess type of personality. Um, so I'm going to have fun putting uh, his character together. I'm probably going to make his wig because um, he has such a big old noggin. <laughs> I don't think I will find one that I'll really like um, if, a, if just a store sells it because it'll probably just be synthetic wigs. And I like natural um, fibers for my doll wigs. But yeah, so I'm going to have to buy some probably alpaca to get him started off. He is lovely. I love the texture in his lips. Got those lines like carved into them. I'm gonna put some wit some eyes into him and then I'll put it on the on the body. Okay, so I put in some eyes. That these are custom made like they're bloodshot. And so you can sort of see the red flecks in there. <laughs> He's been through a lot. <laughs> but I love how perfect the head matches his body. Ah, he looks so muscular and handsome. <laughs> I love it. He is perfect. She is perfect. Like they're both amazing, and I, I'm just, I'm super excited. This is, this is gonna be a fun year. I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot more work on my collection in 2024. So it's, it's gonna be exciting. <laughs> All right. 
so I will post more videos up once I start the styling process for them. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.